Good morning. Thanks for joining us. For Local 3 News, I'm Rebecca Bartlemé. Continuing on our community tour of Launce, Local 3's Brianna McLean takes us back in time with Henry Ford's connections to the area. Here's a sneak peek at the story. About 10 minutes outside of Launce sits the small village of Alberta. When you pass by it on US 41, you might spot the word Ford spelled out in the grass in big white letters. Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motor Company, built the village and its sawmill after World War I to create lumber for his company. So even from the very beginning, Alberta was sort of visualized or imagined as a social experiment as well. A place where people could live, and work, and recreate, and it was intended to be completely self-contained with, with agricultural fields and forestry and everything. After World War II, the sawmill's lumber production declined, and Ford Motor Company donated the entire village and 3,700 acres to Michigan Technological University. In 1954, Michigan Tech reopened the sawmill until it closed in 1981. Michigan Tech ran the cell mill for actually quite a bit longer than Ford Motor Company did and we used it for researching yield and um, grade on hardwood logs. Dave Stimmick was the head sawyer at Michigan Tech sawmill. After the mill closed, he worked as a maintenance worker around the village and has retired after about 45 years. Today, he operates Nature's Way Woodworking out of Alberta's gift shop, where he sells his bird's eye maple wood art. You get a lot of interesting people come in here seeking history and education, and a lot of people don't know what's here. They go, what is this? You know, and so it's owned by Michigan Tech, the forestry department. Nobody had any idea um, that Ford Motor Company, that Henry even built the town in 1935 and then gave it to Tech in 54. People from all over the world that happen to stop in here. Over the years, Stimmick has met many people connected to Henry Ford, including Ford's grandchildren and even the women who the village is named after. To watch the rest of that story and other stories from our community tour in lots, you can visit our website, upmatters.com. In other news, Climb Out of Darkness is the world's largest event raising awareness for postpartum mood and anxiety disorders. In Marquette, the local branch holds an event every year. This Saturday, a walk will be held at Presque Isle Park where this community can come together and realize they are not alone. The event begins at 10 a.m. People are asked to go to the Facebook event to RSVP. Now for a check on your forecast with meteorologist Tom Kippen. Thanks a lot, Becca. Some rain may remain across the east today. Otherwise, we'll get some sun back. Look for highs 70s to around the 80 degree mark and then some rain this weekend is possible.